Do you want to understand how ChatGPT works? Today, I want to take you on an exciting journey into the world of artificial intelligence, or AI, focusing on a fascinating creation known as ChatGPT. Some of you might have already interacted with ChatGPT, maybe for work, school projects, or just out of curiosity. But do you know how it actually works? By the end of this video, you'll have a clearer picture of this amazing technology. ChatGPT is a computer program made by OpenAI. It can simulate a conversation with you, review your code, generate sample code, write essays, and even create stories. Think of it as a very smart robot that communicates in human language. It's based on something called the GPT architecture, which stands for Generative Pre-Trained Transformer. Sounds fancy, right? But don't worry, I'll break it down for you. Before ChatGPT can chat with you, it goes through a learning process. Imagine teaching a puppy tricks. But instead of tricks, ChatGPT learns from vast amounts of text data, like books, articles, and websites. This is what we call pre-training. During pre-training, it reads this data to understand grammar, facts, and some common sense reasoning. It's like giving it a giant library to read and learn from. However, it doesn't know everything perfectly. Just like us humans, it has to study hard to get things right. After pre-training, ChatGPT undergoes a special refining process called fine-tuning. During this stage, it's adjusted using a smaller, more specific dataset that's often supervised by human trainers. These trainers teach ChatGPT to be more accurate and to give more relevant responses by scoring its answers. It helps ChatGPT learn the do's and don'ts of a conversation, like being polite and staying on topic. Now, let's talk briefly about transformers, a part of GPT. Think of them as attentive readers. They focus on the context of each word. This means, when you type a question, the transformer looks at every word in your question and figures out the best way to respond based on all the training it has received. When you ask ChatGPT a question, it analyzes your words using what it learned. It doesn't just spit out stored answers, but generates responses using patterns it learned from the data. It predicts what comes next in a sentence based on the history of countless conversations. Despite being super smart, ChatGPT has its limitations. It doesn't know things in real time like a human. It doesn't have opinions, feelings, or personal experiences. Sometimes, it can give incorrect facts because it's only as good as the data it's trained on. ChatGPT is like a very advanced copycat that learns from massive amounts of text to help answer questions and hold conversations. As you interact with this technology, remember that, while impressive, it is still a tool created by humans. As we embrace such technologies, let's focus on using them responsibly and ethically. Thank you for joining me on this exploration of ChatGPT. Please let me know in the comments how you are using the technology so that we can all learn.